I received several emails from you guys last night wondering what was going on yesterday. What happened yesterday? Obviously, no video was published. We usually get at least two videos published during the week every day and one each day during the weekend. I actually started working on one yesterday morning about LeBron James, but I just wasn't feeling it yesterday. I couldn't get into it. I can normally find a story, and within five to ten minutes, I know which angle I'm going to take. I'll do my research to confirm my perspective, make sure I'm giving you factual information and an informed opinion on it, and then we'll get the video recorded and published. Yesterday morning, I sat here for about 30 minutes just reading, looking at my computer screen, really. I just couldn't get into it. So I took that as my mind telling me that I needed a break. So I took the day off yesterday. Nothing is wrong. Nothing dramatic happened. I just simply cooled off yesterday. We went and walked a few miles with the dog, went to dinner last night, came back home, watched TV until we fell asleep. That was my Saturday. Anyway, we're getting back to normal today. The championship game in women's college basketball will take place tonight. Now, in case you didn't know, and judging by the ratings, most of you don't, either UConn or South Carolina will be crowned champions tonight. We talked about women's basketball at South Carolina, I believe it was Friday. And if I remember my figures correctly, the program loses $5 million every year. Yet for some reason, the team, led by their ultra-woke coach, Don Staley, are one of the leaders in the fight for equity, in the fight to end racism. Don Staley was an accomplished basketball player in her day. For the past 14, maybe 15 years, she's been the head coach at South Carolina. Now, to her credit, Don Staley's one hell of a coach. In her tenure, She's won the SEC six times, won the national championship back in 2017. They were the favorites to win in 2020 had the season not been canceled for the Fauci fungus. I don't know if any of you guys have experienced the Fauci fungus, but it's miserable. Once it attacks you, they force you into quarantine, and for 10 days, you are only allowed to watch a man that looks like a giant lizard scare you into thinking you have the bubonic plague when you really just had the flu. Fuck Fauci. Let's get back to Don Staley. Again, credit where credit is due. Don Staley is one hell of a basketball coach. But no one, no one is talking about that. I would be willing to bet until today, most of you had never heard of Don Staley. I read about sports seven days a week. I've never heard of her. She's on my radar now, though, just like Megan Rapino, just like Sue Bird. Hell, just like the entire WNBA. Dawn Staley is not being recognized for her accomplishments in basketball. <laughs> no, no. This is 2022. We don't recognize people based on accomplishments, based on merit. We don't recognize people for their hard work and dedication. That's so 2019. Hard work gets you nowhere. You can now become rich and famous for being a complete piece of shit. For the first time in her 14-year career, Don Staley is making national news. No one gives a shit about the national championship in women's college basketball. They might pop a decent rating tonight. Competition is minimal on Sunday nights. At least they were smart airing the game tonight. Before all this bullshit, the women may have drawn two, three, maybe four million people tonight. But, but, with this story all over the news this weekend, many people who might have been willing to give these women a chance are unlikely to do so now. The women's final four was Friday night. Here is the scene pre-game. Just like every other sporting event in America, the teams, they meet in the middle of the court for the national anthem. Now, as you can see, the young women of Louisville are right where they're supposed to be. Maybe they have a head coach that's an actual leader. Maybe these young women simply have common sense. Maybe they were raised in good families. Either way, the young women of Louisville are standing mid-court, not fucking kneeling, they're standing mid-court, arms locked, hands over their heart, paying their respects to the military and the country that gave them the opportunity to play in the Final Four. Now, in order to have a basketball game, 
You got to have an opponent. Hundreds of people in attendance at the Target Center in Minneapolis Friday night, they were confused. They thought Louisville was playing against an invisible opponent. Where the fuck was South Carolina? During the national anthem, they were in the locker room, probably listening to Don Staley propagandize them and explain to them why they are victims of a corrupt system. America hates you because you're women. If you're a black woman, America detests you. We are going to show them by refusing to come out during their national anthem. All of you, stand now in this locker room and pay your respects to the black national anthem. I don't blame the 18 to 22-year-old women in South Carolina for this bullshit. This is an example of piss-poor leadership from Don Staley. If I had a daughter who was a college basketball prospect, the last place I'm sending her is South Carolina. I wouldn't subject my daughter to four years of propaganda from this demented social justice warrior. Let me tell you how irrelevant women's basketball is in this country. Dawn Staley has banned her team from going out for the national anthem all season. Not only that, she will not allow the national anthem to be played at home games in South Carolina. They have been playing for five months now. We are three weeks into the women's tournament. I refuse to call it March Madness. This is not March Madness. This is the women's tournament. We are three weeks into it. Don Staley has not allowed her team to come out for the national anthem all season, all throughout the tournament. And we are just now hearing about it. That's how irrelevant, that's how little of influence, little of an impact women's basketball has in this country. Colin Kaepernick, he started kneeling for the national anthem during the NFL preseason. It made national news the next day. Don Staley doesn't get noticed until she pulls this bullshit during the final four. My question is, what is she protesting? What is she leading these young women to protest? Where is the problem? Where is the fire? According to Don Staley, we are bringing awareness to racial injustice in our country. What racial injustice? What fucking racial injustice are we talking about? Maybe Don Staley's right. Maybe minorities are being unfairly targeted by the criminal justice system. So in the interest of fairness, I looked into some of the racial injustice in the state of South Carolina. Oh, was I not surprised by what I found. Let me share with you some of this blatant injustice. February 2021, a South Carolina judge granted bond to 24-year-old Charles Clipper. He was fresh off yet another crime spree. Well, all citizens have the right to a bond. Oh yeah? You tell me if this fucking guy deserved bond. May 2015 pled guilty to first degree assault and battery. May 2018 pled guilty to armed robbery. June 2018 third degree burglary. December 2019 first degree domestic violence. Do you think that guy deserved bail? My question is, how in the hell is he getting bond in the first place? He shouldn't have even been on the streets to commit another crime. Well, KC, that's just a one-off. You're picking one case. You're ignoring the blatant racial injustice prevalent throughout America. You think so? 2016, rapper Kodak Black pled guilty to sexually assaulting a teenage girl. How many days do you think he spent in jail? Zero. He was given 18 months of probation. Two months ago, local media in South Carolina published an extensive report about the ongoing leniency problem in the state's criminal justice system. The state is currently pushing critical race theory in public schools. So someone please tell me, what is Don Staley protesting? Where is the racial injustice? If anything, her own damn state has the pendulum swinging in the other direction. If you're a criminal and you're a minority, business is booming in South Carolina. Like everything woke, Don Staley is protesting nothing. 
It's nothing but a virtue signal. She is using social justice for her own personal gain. The University of South Carolina gave this fucking woman a seven-year contract last fall worth $22 million. You know how she repaid them? You know how she thanked the taxpayers who are paying her inflated salary? Keep in mind, this basketball program loses $5 million a year. About $3 million of that is going to her salary. You know how she re, uh, repaid or rethanked the taxpayers? She condemned South Carolina for its rich history of racism. <laughs> you just can't please these people. It's impossible. If someone's paying me over $3 million a year, I'm going to give them a hug, not an LGBT woke hug, not a Stephen A. Smith woke hug. I'm talking about a real hug. I'm going to thank them. I'm not going to call them out for mythical discrimination. Dawn Staley should be fired. This woman should be fired. She should lose her job. Protesting in the WNBA, NBA, NFL, that's one thing. Those are grown men and women. They're adults. But Dawn Staley... She is propagandizing kids. She is filling young, impressionable minds with poison. And the state of South Carolina continues to allow it. Let me know what you think about this bullshit. Should Dawn Staley be fired? And are you going to watch the game tonight? Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys tomorrow.